Hi again. So today's video is about a not very smart thing I did um, oh, at least 20 years ago and it involves uh, putting the wrong cartridge in a in a rifle and, I, and I've seen this I've seen other people do this uh, it, when it happened I was quite shocked and um, uh, surprisingly the rifle was not destroyed anyway I kept this and uh, you know who who knew about YouTube way back when but uh, this this bullet here is from a 7.62 by 39 and that is what it started out looking like and this is a 7.62 by 39 and this is a 243 Winchester now put me on the range with um, certain people and a number of guns and a number of different cartridges it's kind of a recipe for something going wrong not that that's excusable but it's an explanation so anyway um, it's probably worth telling the story just for safety reasons I put the 7.62 by 39 in the 243 it was a Winchester model 70 and I mean I look at them they're totally different but probably I haven't tested this probably um, either the claw extractor of the of the model 70 held the cartridge base against the bolt face so uh, well enough so the firing pin could hit the 7.62 by 39 primer or um, the distance from here to here around here is sufficient to wedge this cartridge which is smaller than the chamber for the 243 in place to me looking at it right now it probably got wedged in there so now we've got this bullet in a hole this big and a whole bunch of powder and just like I said this this was bad so um, fortunately I had shooting glasses on that day and I don't always wear shooting glasses but that day for some reason I guess somebody was uh, helping me and um, so I fired this the 243 Winchester Model 70 and uh, I mean the I thought the whole gun exploded um, the floor plate this is not a Winchester but the whole floor plate bent down um, the extractor blew off the bolt the side of, of the bolt and um, there were the part of the bolt face blew away uh, right in here and um, uh, anyway I kind of you know after something like that you look at yourself <laughs> to see whether you're all there and I didn't notice any blood there was something wrong with I guess my right eye and um, but I had the glasses on so um, what happened was particles of brass this case uh, completely blew up um, the bolt head was the only thing that was sorry the cartridge head was the only thing that was left of the cartridge that I could see I don't know where all the rest of the pieces went but I had small pieces of brass in my eye I still have them actually the the doctors just left them there so I don't know if I see better or worse but they're there anyway and uh, so then I wondered well where's the bullet and uh, this is hard to believe but it's true the bullet this was sticking out the end of the barrel so the pressure was so great that this bullet got swaged down to this diameter and you can see that the, the base of the bullet is kind of asymmetrical um, because I presume the bullet wasn't concentric with the center of the bore of the 243 uh, so a little bit off so it's shaped a little bit odd anyway uh, made it to the end of the barrel um, and and there it was so that's where I took the bullet out I've seen accidents similar ones with 7x57 in 270 I, 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 I don't know why people would do that but then I don't know why I did this either um, and I've seen that maybe three or four times in any event um, you know always watch and probably too many people around and too many guns and too many cartridges uh, it may be not a great idea and uh, with shotguns of course you maybe are aware 20 gauge will slide right through the chamber of a 12 gauge and it'll sit right at the front of the chamber and it won't move then you, a person can load a 12 gauge shell fire the shotgun and it's a disaster um, so don't do that either anyhow uh, a very unusual video but I thought since I've saved these bullets for that long 
I have another one here, which is an entirely different story, but for another video. So um, there it is, my first safety video. And thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.